in OnePlus's latest Oxygen OS, Open Beta 3 for the OnePlus 5T, new navigation gestures have been added as an option, which functions similarly to the gestures on the iPhone X. Hi everyone, Jerome Ortega here with Android Police, and today we'll be taking a look at these gestures and see how well they work with the OnePlus 5T. Once you've downloaded and installed the Open Beta 3 release to your 5T, all you'll have to do is drop into Settings, select Buttons, and hide the navigation bar that'll now give you a full screen experience while enabling these gestures. If you're in an app and you need to get back to the home screen, simply swipe up from the bottom center of the screen. OnePlus adds a little animation in there as well that gives it a nice touch. To go back, for example in Chrome, after clicking a link, swipe up again from the bottom of the screen, but instead of swiping from the center up, swipe a tad to the bottom left or bottom right to go back a page. I like that they give you the option for both left and right here. And to switch apps, swipe up from anywhere on the bottom of the screen and pause. From there, you'll get a list of open apps where you can switch from one to the next. While these gestures offer you a full screen experience and is certainly a welcome addition as an option, you lose functionality in the overall Android experience. You can no longer quickly switch from app to app by double tapping the Recents button. You also lose the ability to multitask and split screen apps. Without a nav bar, there is no gesture to hold down the Home button to activate Google Assistant. And if you're someone like me who uses the screen pinning option, you can forget about it. Because once you pin something, you're now SOL with no navbar to unpin. But let's remember, this is an open beta release for the 5T and it's totally an option that gives you a chance to use navigational gestures to try on Android. And honestly, swiping from the bottom up to get to your home screen and even swiping up to go back a page feels really natural to me. It's quick and efficient, and is now something I look forward to in future gesture updates in OnePlus's lineup. I'm hoping OnePlus finds a way to add on to this by adding gestures to activate Google's Assistant. Obviously, a Pixel 2 or a Pixel 2 XL can squeeze, but unfortunately our 5Ts cannot, and I'd love to see a quicker solution to switch from app to app, a way to split screen apps, and even a way to unpin a pinned screen. Just like OnePlus adding face unlock to the 5 and the 5T while still giving us the option to use a fingerprint reader. Options are good, can't hate on that.